pertaining to the Public Investment Corporation or the PIC. Now, uh, CEO Dan Majila, he resigned on Friday. Uh, his intention was, of course, to stay on in the job for at least another five months. However, the chairperson of the PIC, uh, Mondi Gungubele, who is also the Deputy Finance Minister, said that after careful consideration, the board resolved that it is uh, the, in the CEO's interest and that of the PIC that his resignation be effected immediately. Majila has, of course, been allegedly linked to a number of questionable investments and financial dealings. And uh, the now former CEO leaves uh, in the midst of a forensic inquiry that is currently underway at PIC. And the Deputy Finance Minister, Amondli Gungubele, who is also the PIC chairperson, joins us now from our Cape Town studios uh, to tell us more about the situation there. Mr. Gungubele, always good to speak to you. Thanks for coming through. Good morning, Sakina, and your viewership. Now, Mr. Gungubele, with regard to Mr. Majila, and of course, there's been a lot of talk about his resignation, but let's start here. Did he, in fact, hand in a resignation letter? Ma, the, Dr. Majila handed in a letter of intention to resign with, with a set of terms in it, uh, which when the board sat and deliberated at length, the board took a view that uh, it was in the interest of both the institution and that of himself that uh, that should be executed with immediate effect. So uh, for clarity's sake, uh, Mr. Gungubele, so he attended a letter or a notice of resignation, so in effect not an actual resignation. Are you not concerned that there would be a comeback from him in this regard? We, we, we prefer Sagina to leave that with him, but we, after taking a decision, we called uh, Dr. Machila and uh, explained our decision to him. Uh, and uh, we told him that we respect uh, his rights in that regard, but uh, it has been. But it, it is it is our preferred. Uh, uh, well, actually, let me say, the, our preference is that we wish this uh, parting be as amicable as possible. But however, we respect uh, Dr. Machila's rights in that regard. Uh, my concern here, uh, Mr. Gungubele, is the legality around it. Because if, if this is not a legitimate resignation, then obviously it uh, means that Mr. Majila can then challenge this legally later on. So regardless of what your preference may be as the PIC board at this stage, surely you should be concerned about the legalities and following proper processes. Uh, it, is careful, it is our careful consideration of those legalities, Sakina, and amongst other things that made the board to take a decision. And uh, had the board not applied its minds to that aspect of legalities, I don't think that decision would have been taken. So it, uh, it is a strong view of the board that uh, we view that letter as a basis for parting of ways. So I do not unnecessarily want to belabor that particular point. But if there is a comeback, if this is challenged at a later stage, uh, will you take accountability for that? Because it would seem on the surface of it that uh, these are issues that needed and could be ironed out right now. Well, Sagida, once we assume leadership of PIC, we, we, we take accountability for our decisions, yes. Mm. All right. M moving along, uh, when this investigation started, uh, PIC employees, they implored the board that they would like for both the uh, CFO and the CEO to move aside. Now, the CEO, we understand the situation now uh, where you've asked for his resignation to be effected immediately. But then the CFO, the chief financial officer, Mr. Matsepo More, um, you actually got Matsepo More now in an acting position as CEO. Oh, so how does that help your employees in terms of, you know, freeing them up to come forward with the information that you require? Uh, maybe it will be proper to say to you, Sakina, 
The, the forensic investigation uh, was completed and handed to the minister, and the minister directed the board on the areas to deal with, but the bigger part of it is going to be uh, handed to the, what to call the Commission of Inquiry process. Uh, over and above that, there is, if you look at the acting CEO, Ms. Moore, uh, we have got no information at our disposal, which makes us to ignore that he, she was one of the two executives of the place, that herself and Mr. Machila, not to ask her in the interim to act as a CEO. So there was no investigation against Ms. More, and she's not uh, suspected of having any hand in any of the malfeasance that allegedly has been going on at PIC. At our disposal at the moment, we don't have those facts. But did you engage mm -hmm. the employees on this? Because they were quite specific in saying Ms. More and Mr. Majila should be moved aside so that they can actually come forward. Remember, Sakina, by the way, allegations were generally, uh, remember it was from an email uh, of an individual who was not prepared to come out a whistleblower, and, uh, but an exercise that is highly respected in South Africa, which we also respected, thus an, invest an independent investigation. Remember when the workers, for instance, said, uh, also, who wrote an anonymous letter that uh, it would be advisable that Mr. Machila not be around the institution during investigation. We said because Mr. Machila has been here since last year, September, there must be a basis for which that suspension occurs. And we said if the investigator so demo so, so warn us that the presence of Mr. Machila undermine the intended results of that investigation, the investigator must speak to us who would actually not hesitate, as I said to you before, to intervene. So that was our stance. But with regard to workers, I briefed the workers yesterday in a fully attended meeting. They raised all the sort of questions which we dealt with, yes. Um, and then uh, two former PIC directors, uh, Mr. Gungubele, uh, were on the board of VBS Bank. And we know all the controversy surrounding VBS at the moment. So Ernest Nesane and Paul Makula, uh, they left the PIC around uh, this time when these accusations on VBS are circulating. But were th was there any investigation into their involvement in what happened uh, with VBS? Uh, remember, we, we parted with those workers when that information came. And the second issue is uh, we, on our side, have been attending to, to all the underlying uh, factors with regard to their involvement. And we anticipate that the executive will actually uh, take us into confidence with regard to if there's any other uh, information we didn't know of other than the one that led to us parting with them. So, in short, uh, there hasn't been an investigation into this? Uh, wh what I'm saying, Sagina, is that we've asked the executive to attend to that, call it an investigation or, uh, or some kind of exploration, but there is an exercise by the executive so that if there is any further criminal charges, we attend to that. We are awaiting a report from them. Mr. Gungubele, um, General Bantu Olomisa, of course, uh, wrote a letter to President Cyril Ramaphosa earlier on in the year, and it related to specific companies and allegations of corruptions in their dealings with the PIC. Now, has that been fully investigated? Uh, if you remember, Sagina, the reason for the commission of inquiry as instituted by the president, it's a response to a series of allegations around the PIC. That's why the board in that context is actually contributing or reinforcing all the efforts and exercises that uh, clear the PIC of a number of issues that uh, have got detrimental effect to his reputation. So that information, we expect it to be part of that 
uh, commission of inquiry. Um, so how uh, uh, do we know exactly how broad that particular investigation will be? Well, uh, it's, it's very broad, uh, Sagina, in the sense that I remember, if my memory serves me well, the last term says, although there's a period, I think, up to 2015 or 2014, backward, but the last term of it, if I remember very well, it says, if in the eyes of the judge there's a basis of, 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 of going beyond that, depending on the information at his disposal, they are allowed to actually pay attention to that. So it's very broad. So, Mr. Gungubele, there is, of course, growing concern about the stability, one, and two, uh, the safety of finances uh, at the PIC. And I think you would know um, the stories, as we said, uh, the stuff that was highlighted by General Holomisa, the VBS saga, et cetera, et cetera. So how can you guarantee the public that indeed the PIC is a place where their funds are safe and they have nothing to be concerned about? Well, PIC has got currently systems we have, if properly applied, those systems do assist uh, to reassure the, those who deposit their money. However, we are also looking, we had a breakaway session, we are also looking at improving uh, our governance system in general to ensure that we continue to ensure that the systems under which these monies are invested is a system that can be relied upon. So the public has nothing to be concerned about as far as the PIC goes? As far as the PIC is, co is concerned, we are doing our best. Uh, depending on what is going to come out of the Commission of Inquiry, uh, we are waiting anxiously to know what will be the results there. But where we are, we are doing our best to, uh, to ensure that the public should uh, little or nothing to worry about. And uh, just the final one with regard to um, uh, people whose monies are actually invested having a greater say. Um, as the Deputy Finance Minister, and I'm uh, canvassing your personal view on this opinion, uh, what do you think about that? Uh, do you think it would be prudent for people to have a greater say and um, better information about exactly how and where their monies are invested? Well, remember, Sagina, the GPF compensation and the UIF uh, institutions, those are structures of the workers whose money we are, uh, PIC is a custody of. Now, those give mandate to PIC. Whatever mandate PIC is working on is always going to be within the mandate of the clients. And to me, I cannot imagine any stronger say than that one because this, this uh, uh, in investment managing, this fund managing institution is bound to act within the mandate that is given by the clients. But could it be done better? Well, uh, Sagina, every policy, every method is open to improvement because uh, circumstances continue to change. Well, Mr. Mondi Gungubele, we thank you for your time this morning and look forward to, you know, uh, those investigations and the outcomes. And uh, no doubt we will engage again. But thanks so much for your time this morning. Thanks for the opportunity, Sagina. Thanks to your viewership. Thank you very much. And uh, thanks to the Deputy Minister of Finance and the Chairperson of the PIC, Mondli Gungubele, for talking to us about the Public Investment Corporation and many issues surrounding it. And we're going to take a break when we come back.